Aloha, I'm Mei Fang with GR and Andre. Today uh, on our topic, we are going to talk about Boost Profit with Excel, written by James A. Wiesel in December 2003. In this article, it mentions about if your company CEO or client asks you to figure out a way to maximize profits, and he wants to know the most profitable product mix, how you're going to come out with the number in the faster way instead of use paper and the pencil. So we're going to introduce you this function in Excel called Solver. Okay, my name is Andrew. So uh, in this spreadsheet, you can see the company Southern Frozen Foods. And in this company, they are selling three different kinds of products, which is the sauces, soups, and the casseroles. And by changing the sales volumes of these three products, we should maximize the profit. And in this, uh, and in each available period, we have a limitation on the machine time and the labor time. And the machine time available is. 40,000 minutes and for the labor time available is 50,000 minutes and before we start uh, find the the maximum profit we have to have this function the solver so check your computer if you don't have the solver here is how you get it so press this button and go to Excel options and next, go to add-ins, and in here you see the manage, click Excel add-ins, and go. Just check the sofa add-in and click OK. And in the data column, then you will see the sofa. All right, this is GR. Now I'm sure I'm going to show you how to use the solver. You click right here, solver uh, function comes out. This is an empty cell. So this set target cell right here is where you're going to put your income, your operating income, where it comes out. So you click right here, and then you click this cell right here. It give you that direction. It's your, this should be maximum. So we can see the maximum um, uh, product mix. Now this right here, the cells, these are your products right here. So we will put this cell right here comma then the next cell is about for the soups a comma never forget to put the comma in there to separate the cells and then the last one the casseroles then after that let's go to the options never forget to write down here always check this box right here assume linear model and under it you assume non negative you click OK. Then now let's work on in our constraints. First, we have to work on two constraint constraints first. Click Add. Our first one is for the um, total machine time utilization. Then you click in this space right here. The constraint, the forty thousand. After that, you click Add. Okay. The next one is for the labor time utilization. You click this down right here, and then the constraint, um, the 50,000. Never forget to see this through and check this. It has to be less than or equal to that constraint, so it will not go above it. That would be the constraint. That's our limit. That's the um, time available for our production. And then you click OK. Then you can see it right here in your solver constraints and now you go and solve and there you go um, yeah you keep the solver solution you click OK and there you can see the changes happening to the income statement and the next one is that we will go and complete all the constraints you go continue click to your sol uh, solver and then you add three more constraints and what's the difference it will make to your operating income? So right now, before we add the three constraints, we have a 15,000. But that would be um, a production only for the sauces. And no soups, 
and no casseroles. So watch out what will happen if we will put three more constraints for the sauces, soups, and casseroles. So first cons constraint is for the sauces. You click this cell right here and make sure that it's limited or less than or equal to its constraint which is 500 and you add the next one for the soups click the cell right here and its constraint 400 and you add and the casseroles and then the constraint 700 and you click OK and then after that you can see everything right here five constraints and then you go and solve watch what will happen to the 15,000 operating income and there you go it changed okay, they say okay you keep the solver solution if you click the restore original values that will go back to what it was before so you want to keep the solver solution this time so and there you go so this is what happens so the product mix it utilizes a limit of 500 for the sauces and the soups going to the 400 to its limit and what's left is for the casseroles which is less than 700 that's it